Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Huan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raids 1 Specialist account. Every 75 Raids I can go for 1 of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 Soul Raids. Please enjoy the series. Okay, I have no run energy, but I'm, I'm just too lazy to stamina up. <gasps> Purple! Oh my god! Damn! Alright, the 100 dry streak is not happening. The occult brings all the pur purples to the yard. That's for sure. Here we go, boys. <laughs> ah, the arcane burst. Cool. I love it. Anyways, let me uh, see what we got here. No way! The arcane is overtaken. The deck scroll by a big two. On the last progress video, I managed to get myself a Wyvern Fistage, which is quite cool because I don't have any restrictions on it because I never expected to get one. But yeah, this shield has 15 magic bonus, which is five more than my Book of Darkness, which is my current mage shield for my raid setup. So I could actually replace my Book of Darkness with this shield as my new upgrades. Uh, for it. Alright, so I need 25,000 uh, Numalites to charge the Wyvern Shield, so I don't really have time to actively, like, you know, go for like the best method or something to get the Numalite. So instead, I'm just gonna AFK and I'm like, crap, so they drop him and I guess train my main stats a bit. And I got a Ring of Wealth, it will automatically pick up the Numalites. Now, oh, there we go, you see, it just went straight into my inventory. So I wanted to figure out how long it would take to get 25k Noom Lights if I were to AFK them through the Crabs. So the Crabs has three different drop variations with three different rates. I found the averages for all three of them in terms of Noom Lights. I added them up and uh, it turns out on average you get about 1.4 Noom Light per kill. So that means it would take about 17,800 Crabs to get 25k Noom Lights. That's a freaking ton and um, I'm getting about 200 kills an hour because I'm getting about 80k experience an hour for my melee stats to do 17,800 is approximately 89 hours of AFK so these fortunately are insanely AFK so it's not too bad so I'm gonna AFK as much as I can and when I do have free time I will be moving on to silly skips but I'm definitely gonna get a majority of the new lights through here though here we go, we just hit 95 attack, what? How did it creep up on me so fast? Holy shit. Damn, I was only expecting 96 strain today, but uh... Wow, another freaking level, dude. Jesus. These guys aren't too bad, um... Looks like it's around 80k an hour combat stats. Just using Dragon Battle Axe back in AFK. Day 2. Oh, there is. Oh, but they're like far away though. They're... Let me see. Let me see if this works. Let me see if this, uh, if I can aggro all three. I think you can actually. Oh, actually, I think you can. Oh, there's another spot, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I don't think people notice this spot, dude. It's so obscure. Like, it's just out of nowhere, dude, this spot. One eternity later. Alright, this is probably my biggest AFK session though. 4.7k Numalite. I got 11k, so that means I need about 13k more. Okay, boys and girls, we hit 95 defense. I'm getting a lot of combat experience. Um, while well, I am collecting these Numalites, yeah. I think I just hit 121 combat as well. Not bad. I might just go uh, cut some Cilia skips tonight and, uh, you know, try to blaze through the Numalites. I was thinking I would get 25k before I get the Occult, but uh, since I didn't, yeah, we'll, we'll try to rush it because I do want to test out the Wyvern Shield that raids. Pretty excited for that as well. Okay, and you too. Yo, yo. Off. Oh, seriously. Oh my god, are you serious? I think that poison wasn't in the way. Ow. Oh, just hit 97 straight. Crazy to think that the most recent experience has been from uh, 
freaking what do you call those ammonite crabs or whatever oh what what i just hit it what the freaking hell i just got 96 attack too okay let's go ahead and build this mounts of dick side pendant i'm gonna be cutting some uh silly skips or whatever the mushroom things just because i want to get the 7000 numulates quicker that's left for the uh, ward all right so this is my plan with the teleport i'm gonna heal up resell my statues in the pool and then with this new pendant in my house infinite teleports i can just go to fossil island now from here forever so i don't have to actually take them out from my bank it's getting kind of annoying doing that so i have gone four analysis all from tecton thank you very much and i have one extra that I have not much use for because I already have another Zenite uh, jewelry made. So I only need three Onyxes for the other three, right? All right, we're gonna do it now. There's no going back. Onyx bracelet. There we go. And the enchants. All right, so this is my setup. The most important thing is regen bracelet and the sword palm. Sword palm just to prevent this stupid spine mushroom from poisoning me. That causes quite a bit of trouble. They do poison for fives and yeah that's eight so i have rapid heal on and combined with regen bracelet that'll be a four times regen rate for your hit points so one hp point increase recovery i guess every 15 seconds unfortunately i can't stack this with the hit point kit for 6x yes twenty-five thousand. holy shit twenty-five thousand. finally man it is done! Alright guys, so if you were wondering how much uh, new lens I was getting an hour, it took me about 24 minutes to get 850. So um, I, I guess it's safe to assume it is definitely over a thousand an hour. Somewhere between a thousand and two thousand. So yeah, it would take like, I guess 15 to 20 hours to get all the new lights doing this method. I think this is one of the fastest methods. Anyways, it's time to go ahead and charge this bad boy here um what i do, do i just go 50 the charges right oh my god all my new lights gone oh geez no animation though for that i am kind of surprised it's going to be hard to use the shield in a lot of pvm situations because if this shield is dropped on the ground or is kept by an npc after i die it will lose all of its charges even as Zora. Um, things like God Wars, any of that stuff. Mm. If it's not kept in my inventory after death, as in it's not my top 3 most expensive item, it's gone. Charge is all gone. I have to go through another at least 20 hours to get it back. So yeah, I can only use it in safe uh, PVM situations like raids and very, very limited regular bossing situations. Oh, here we go. Set 8 mining. So, look at this. Three levels away from 2k total. Check it out. Okay, we got our experimental setup here. We swapped out Book of Darkness for the uh, Ancient Wyvern Shield. So when I put on my mage gear, this is what it's gonna look like. So the obvious benefit to having the Wyvern Shield is the increase in accuracy over my Book of Darkness, Vespila, Vanguards, and Mage Hand Ohm will noticeably be better. But I wanted to test out how I can make use of his crazy melee defenses. And I noticed that his crazy melee defenses are really good for two rooms. The first one is tanking skeletal mages. When I lure skeletal mages to melee distance, I end up taking some melee hits from time to time. But this shield is really good for tanking it, so I take less damage doing that. And also tanking melee vanguards is really good for that as well. If the melee vanguard does end up coming close to me, I will take less damage because this shield is really tanky against him. So overall, I definitely like the Wyvern Shield upgrade. It is, uh, I would say, a solid, solid upgrade for my raid setup. Is it possible that I do this? Oh, I did it! Yes, you are now safe spotted, yeah. My diamond bolts know how to count. <gasps> I actually got a purple. No way, the 100 dry streak, when is it going to happen, dude? Every time, man. Oh wait, you know what? I actually want ancestral item though. Please. Please give me ancestral item, dude. We're dancing for the loot with the twirl. Here we go. 
Oh, a deck scroll. Oh my god. Deck scroll, boys. We've done it. The deck scroll is finally catching up to the arcane prayer scrolls, dude. Boom, baby. Deck scroll is finally catching up. Come on, I have one more chance. Whew. I think I should be good. That was so freaking close. Oh, yeah, dude. We can do this. Let's get it. I think the time I have to beat is 23.33 or so. So uh, I'm going to get to OM by like 10 minutes. So if, if, if I do a 12 minute OM, which is like, I think the normal time at, with the setup, then that's a PB. So, eh, that's whatever. I mean, still hella fast, but this OM just trolled me, dude. This OM literally took fucking ages to kill. All right, just at 79 mining. And two more levels to 2,000 total. I'm gonna see if I can PB this raid. It's uh, very risky. I only have three brews. So we're gonna get there like 10 minutes ish. So. Got ourselves a PB right there. 2233. Very nice. That's awesome, dude. We beat our uh, best time by a flat basically one whole minute. So that's pretty good. Holy crap. Finally, dude. Onyx, are you serious? Wow. This guy is way too lucky at getting Onyxes. Oh my goodness. That's like my fifth Onyx, dude. From uh from Tekton on this account. On this account. <laughs> That's so crazy, man. Now we just have to wait for Mary J and uh Mary J to get a scythe and the fish to get a T bow. There you go. Oh, no, we got the purple. I just hope it's an ancestral piece though, you know? I'll be completely okay. Did we get ancestral top or bottom? Awesome. I bring the RNG. Oh yeah, you just tuned in? That, that must be why, yep. It's definitely because of you, Mr. Ancient. Let's go for the big reveal. After we go for a spin. Oh! oh yes! Oh my god! Yes! Holy shit. Oh my god. Yes, boys. That's so freaking good, dude. Let's go. Man, I wish I got it a little bit earlier, you know, so then I would have went for the tormented bracelet after the defender, but um Wow. Okay, so after I get this defender, I'm pretty pretty dead set on going for the tormented bracelet. Well, that's nice. I have more than an uh, ancestral hat now, so that's really cool. We could put that over here. I guess the Aram's top is kind of dead content now, but I still gotta wear this raggedy, heavy ass chain skirt. I hope I get an ancestral bottom too at some point because uh, I hate wearing the Aram skirt. Actually, we're on a really good track though. We are on actually really, really good track because we are now 9 out of 12. So that's freaking. Really, really nice. And it was on KC 574. Damn, 18 million points for that bad boy. So I am going on my main Iron Man at the moment to show you guys a damage comparison between Void Mage with max damage multipliers of 14.5% versus non-Void Mage if I have the Torrented Bracelet with an Ancestral Top or Bottom. Uh, because I'm going to be simulating what Hua Man Wave will eventually be able to do once I unlock a Torrented Bracelet because I, now I have the Ancestral Top on there. So that's 19%. And this is what I can hit. This is going to be a, a pretty standard uh, damage right here. 36. Alright. So let me switch into Torrented Bracelet with an Ancestral Top since I have that Hua Man Wave. This is how much I can hit. A 38. Oh my God. You see that? Two damage difference there will be some differences though because when my magic drops a bit it might only be one difference but because i'm going to be raiding with overloads which is constantly going to be pushing my magic to 120 and keep it there for the most part i will definitely be able to surpass my void mage uh, maximum hit by two at least in raids so that's huge so i didn't really want to bother going for the tormented without getting ancestral top or bottom because if i just had this by itself 
A and this is what I would hit a 39. That's it. It will only be a one damage difference, which is not really that much of an upgrade. So yeah, the only way I would make a switch out of void is if I have an ancestral top and bottom where I can get that two extra damage. This is why the ancestral top is so nice because this is what's gonna make me make the switch out of void. So once I get the tornado bracelet in the upgrade past the defender, yeah, we're getting out of void. That's gonna be crazy. My entire setup's gonna change like a lot, a lot. I have some bad news to share with you guys. And um, the bad news is, this episode's over. So yeah, y'all better uh, wait another week for another one, right? Have you heard about the bell? Apparently subscription just doesn't do squat no more, you know? People barely even get things in their notification anymore. So you gotta actually hit a bell now. So, you know, maybe you wanna hit that bell if you wanna catch up on the next video. Otherwise, um, if you wanna watch the entire playlist, the link will be there as well for, you know, the current videos up to now. Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video, hopefully uh, within five days. Take care and bye-bye.